Four, five, and six are talking about domain and range. So they're getting into some fancy math words. <laughs> it says, suppose that the relation S. Relation is just a fancy math term for a set of ordered pairs. So if they're talking about a relation, they're talking about a set of points, a set of ordered pairs. So we have a set of ordered pairs there. We've got four points in that set. They want us to give the domain and the range of S. Domain is the fancy math word for listing the X values. And the X values are always the first ones in your ordered pair. The range is your fancy math word for your Y values. It says write your answer using set notation. That means before you put your answer in, you're going to click on the thing that puts the little set symbols around your answer. So the domain is the X values, the, domain is the, X values, the range is the Y values. So if I'm going to list my domain, in my first point the X value is 2, in the second one it's negative 6, in the third one it's 0, and in the fourth one, it's negative 6 again, but I already have it on my list, so I don't need to put it in there a second time. It's already there. If I'm going to list my range, I'm listing my y values. So in my first point, I have a negative 3. In the second one, I've got a negative 1. In the third one, I've got a 2. And in the fourth one, I have a 4. None of those repeated, so I have to list them all down. And that's all they're trying to get across of what does the word domain mean, what does the word range mean. Domain is your X values, range is your Y values. So why didn't you put negative 6? Because I already had it. Oh, It's okay, already so in my list, to... so I don't need it more than once. Okay. If you put it in there, it'll say it's correct, however, it was already in your list, you don't need to put it in there more than once. So number five, if I'm going to list my domain of M, I'm going to have what in my domain? Four, Four. Nine. nine, three, and three, right? In my range, if I'm going to write my list in my range, I'm going to have an A and a 9. Again, the A is in two of your points, but you don't really need to write it down more than once. The same thing. So number six. I want to list my domain. My domain is going to be... Negative 1 and negative 2. And my range negative 2, 1, and negative 1. So easily easy enough once you know what domain and range mean. 